Україна! Слава душі! Героям України тричі! Слава! 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 Ворогам України тричі! Смерть! 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 My friends, I'd like to remind you all that our rallies happen here at 10 Downing Street three times every week. On Wednesdays at 6 o'clock, on Fridays at 6 o'clock, and on Sundays, as we have it today, at 3 o'clock. Please come here and show your support. However, for next week, I need to mention that we will only have a rally on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, not on, on, not on Friday and not on Sunday because of Easter celebration. Друзі, наступного тижня у нас тільки буде протест у середу. У п'ятницю і у, і у неділю не буде ніяких протестів, тому що, е, тому що Пасха. Я став uh, just found out some information about that C and D rally. Uh, no, 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 so yes, please. If anyone's interested and um, want to get counter rally, um, I've just found out the time and place. It'll be at 7 p.m. Uh, on the 4th of April, that's a Thursday evening, at Deptford Town Hall. I think the Deptford is not on the tube, but it is one station just after London Bridge. So that's Thursday, the 4th of April, um, 7 p.m., Deptford Town Hall, Deptford, London, South East, 8. Um, so yeah, why don't we be there and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, make our make our presence felt while they talk about no to NATO and yes to peace. So thank you for your attention, Slava Ukraini. Thank you very much, Tommy. That's actually important, you know. We've been doing counter rallies sometimes against our position, and that is unbelievably important. Let no one say that we should not engage with our opposition. That is exactly what freedom of speech is for. That is exactly what we stand here for. If people simply do not want to speak to them, that's fine. But I believe, and many of us believe in fact, that it is necessary to engage with our opposition and to be able to debunk their nonsense and their apologetics. Because even the silliest and stupidest opinions will inevitably, in eventually get some traction if nobody is speaking against them, if nobody is debunking them, if nobody is showing them for what they are. Nonsense. So my friends, just as Tommy said, next week, 4th April, is going to be a rally of this no to NATO, no to war. And it's very important that we should go there and we should do a counter rally. Where, where is it again, Tommy? Thursday, 4th of April, 7 p.m., Deptford Town Hall. Very good. Yeah, that's in London. That's Dept in London, Deptford. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Deptford is one station, just after London Bridge Station. Thank you very much, thank you very much. It was the first railway track that was ever built in this country. That's right, the, the first railway, huh? Interesting. Um, <laughs> So right at seven o'clock in um, uh, seven seven p.m. seven p.m. exactly fourth of April Thursday. Thank you very much, Tommy. At Deptford, Deptford Station. Of course, of course. We will mention this again on Wednesday. Now, my friends, you're all welcome to come with us on uh, on Wednesday to go there and to uh, and to come to this rally. And of course, we will be doing this counter rally on Thursday. So that's that's a very good point. And today, of course, we will be going to Speaker's Corner. So for any of the people who want to train some public speaking, you're welcome to come yourself. But be careful, though, be careful. Speaker's Corner is not for everyone. You know, people who come there, they need to be prepared mentally. Because sometimes people speak in a very direct way. They can be very derogatory, very rude sometimes. So it's definitely not for everyone. If you are easily triggered, if you are easily upset, don't go there. It's not a good place for you. But if you have ambitions to um, do public speaking or debating or to simply listen to what the opposition has to say, that's the right place for you. We'll go there after this rally. And uh, my friends, it's also very important for all of us to remember that the most important thing for Ukraine to win are the provisions of weapons. The defeat at Avdiivka was 100% caused by the lack of shells that we've had. And we need to show the necessity of providing Ukraine with the weapons necessary for victory to everyone all over the world. Because that is unbelievably important. If Ukraine loses on the battlefield, nothing else will matter. 
that is in the end the most important thing and it is our job to make sure that the Ukrainian soldiers get all the armament that they need because they can't fight if they don't have supplies if they don't have bullets if they don't have shells that is the job of every Ukrainian every person who supports Ukraine and who wants a better future for themselves all over the world the number one objective is to give Ukraine what's necessary for victory. The long-range missiles, the fighter jets, the air defense. What Macron has done is something very savvy, very intelligent. He has promoted strategic ambiguity. The idea that no option is out of the table in terms of dealing with Russia. And he has said it himself, he has said so himself, that. The victory of Ukraine is the top priority of the European community. And that is very true. Everybody should know this. And we should speak about this even to our opposition. In fact, especially to our opposition. It has to be said that videos in particular of us speaking against our opposition are the most popular because people are interested in seeing how these different ideologies interact. They're interested to see how the different ideologies react to the counterpoints, to opposition, to people who don't agree with them. That is why it's so important for us to face our opposition head on, because that is what people want to see the most. They want to see why they should care for Ukraine, and we are willing to show them we are willing to answer not only the questions and the statements of those who support us, but the questions and statements who oppose us. And there's so much more reason to do this because our opposition doesn't have any good points to give. I mean, it's so easy. All you have to do is answer their easy questions and ask them a question in return. And they immediately collapse into either whataboutism or insults. In fact, I've been informed that today there was this lady passing by who started shouting, fraud, 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 all over the place. Now, people tried to engage with her. and believe in something so strongly, if they do not know the reason for their faith, for their belief, for their ideology, what's the point then? What do they truly believe in? Maybe, just maybe, their faith and their worldview is completely hollow. That is exactly the case, my friends. So don't be afraid. Come with us and we'll face them together. All together, we will win! 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 By the way, before I forget, it's in two weeks' time, never mind. Not, not this Thursday, the next one.
should have stopped me, Tommy. Should have stopped me. But thank you for informing me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sometimes we make mistakes. Not not next week, guys. Not next week after Easter. The next the, the week after. And now, my friends, we will have a short musical break. My friends, soon our rally is going to, to end. What, what is it, Tom? Uh, just a reminder, like I said, next Wednesday is the last rally. No rally on uh, Friday and uh, next Friday and next Sunday. And thank you, Pavlo, for tricking me into speaking about Easter. No worries, no worries. I I always ready for anything, you know, like uh, tricking about Easter. Anyway, my friends, I digress. Let's go back to the topic at hand. So this individual who came to us today, she was not an isolated case. You know, in fact, there used to be a spot over there, right at that corner, over there near the white wall. You see that with the lights? That was the spot that we used to call the pig pen. That's right. You might ask, why were we calling it the pig pen? Oh, so disrespectful, so, uh, so mean. But my friends, honestly, if you've seen how those people were living there on the spot, you would see why you would honestly see why yeah. and if you've seen the conspiracies that they would lay all over the wall over there oof it's quite something quite something and unsurprisingly the pig pen usually gets cleared off you know well i'm sure i'm sure smell is one of the reasons but there's many reasons to clear away the pig pen over there at the very least because it's not lawful you can't be creating a ghetto here in the middle of london you know, honestly. But the people who came there, they would usually try their absolute best to put sticks in our wheels as much as humanly possible. Now, they never had the guts to actually engage in an open discussion, no. But what they did do was that every time we would speak, they would put music as loudly as humanly possible. Now, fortunately, our sound system is better than theirs. So that was, uh, that was the silver lining. But unfortunately, it would create a lot of noise, which would be unpleasant for the people in our rallies you know from my opinion in my opinion my friends it's very important for us to make these rallies interactive we don't mind answering questions of random people passing by you know for example these lovely ladies here or anyone who's passing by us you're all free to join us and you're all free to ask questions if you want and we can answer those questions 
However, sometimes you get people who are simply rude. I remember very well one particular individual who stormed his way all the way to me over here. He came near me and he started shouting at me, shut up, shut up, give me the microphone, give me the microphone. Which is very interesting. It's a, it's a very good way of not getting the microphone, of making sure that no one gives you voice to speak. You know, just to be absolutely rude to that someone. You know, but this also was not an isolated case. Sometimes, usually, what happens is that they come by us and they shout Slava Russia or Slava Putin.